Well, hello to you. My name is Derek Phelps, Top Talent Search Advisors, and I'm here today to help you land your next position. You know, one of the top questions that I get asked all the time is, you know, how do I, how do I get follow-up or how do I follow up with an employer after my interview? Well, you know, you might have believed you aced it. Maybe you're not. Maybe you believe that uh, you didn't do too well and you end up getting that job anyway. But let's go through the steps of how you actually follow up on an interview so that you can put your best foot forward and make the best of the great opportunity that you had interviewing with your next company that you're going to work for. So number one, here's, here's your tip of the day. Uh, again, my name is Derek Phelps, Top Talent Search Advisors, uh, headhunter and recruiter, and I've helped thousands of people just like yourself that are trying to land their dream job. So I thought I'd share a few tips with you, just a quick and short brief, and it will help you in your job search. So number one, you know, I know you're anxious to find out how you did in that interview. You think you aced it, you think you did well, or not, but you want some feedback from the situation. So how do I how do I go about it? What do I do next? Um, you know, after working with so many people in different companies, let me give you a couple of tips of of how you set that up. First off, you know, if you're working with a headhunter or if you're working with a recruiter, you have an edge because it's our job to go out there and talk to the company, see how you did, and hopefully bring some feedback that will help you in your next position. And that's one of the most important things about interviewing. Whether this company is right for you or not, uh, we want to get some feedback of how we presented ourselves, our skills, um, and, and told the company that, hey, we want this job. So let's get that feedback first off. You know, actually following up on an interview, it's extremely important and it starts before you even go. You need to write down on write down your questions, write down the top question that you want to ask uh, of the interviewer if you're face to face or in today's environment by Zoom, how you can contact them in the future. Do they have an email address? Did you get that card while you were at the interview so that you know who to follow up with if that's even a possibility? Now, if you have their email address, I tell my people just send one short email. You don't need to send a whole bunch, just one email describing uh, what you like best about the position, what they told you that you were excited about and what you're looking forward to going in the future. So again, just a few sentences, just a few lines, thank them for their time and move on. I would send that the next day or two days later and let it go. You know, continual emails back to them or continual phone calls asking them if they reviewed the, the position or if they have any new information on the position is really just going to turn them off. So uh, one email, two to three days later, just generally describing how you felt about the interview, what you liked about the interview, and thank them for their time. Um, you know, other tips about getting follow-up on an interview really come from you, and they start the second you're out of that interview. When you're out of an interview, grab, grab a pencil, grab a piece of paper, uh, sit in your car for a couple of minutes in the parking lot, or just take some notes after you're Zoom meeting and sit down and write down the questions that they ask you during the interview, the answers that you gave them so that you can review them later. So write down the questions that you remember, the answers that you remember, and any ones that you had trouble on, let's make it a priority to go out there and try to improve on those answers. So if you have a list of questions, if you have a list of your answers right when you're leaving the door, that will be one of the biggest helps to you in your next job. You know, we're not hired or we're even though we think that we had the best interview ever until we have a contract sitting in front of us that we've signed and sent back to the employer and they've said, welcome on board, we'll see you next week. You know, we're still looking. So if we've taken the time to do this exactly after our interview, we followed up with the employer, you're gonna put your best foot forward. It's, it's really my tip for the day. This way, you're really providing a lot of your own feedback on how that interview went. So again, I, I hope you enjoyed our tips today, a couple of uh, points that you can uh, take away with it uh, to help you in your job search. And, and number one, I'd like to invite you to share this with a friend, share this with the group that you have on Facebook. Uh, you can find us on YouTube. Our YouTube channel is Derek. Phelps, headhunter and recruiter. You can look me up there. There's lots more tips like this out there for you. And please subscribe so that you can see our, our videos first. I guarantee you your competition is. And there's more competition today 
than any other time. We'll go over that in a couple of uh, uh, more videos that I have coming up for you. But again, uh, like and share our page. Go to our Facebook page, Top Talent Search Advisors. You can look us up there, like the page, and you'll also get lots of great tips. But uh, job openings that we have coming up in manufacturing, accounting, engineering, uh, to help you or a friend of yours land that position. And again, share the video with them. Uh, they may be looking, we can help them out, and it's, it's uh, let's make America great again by helping each other get back to work quickly and find that next position. So thanks for your time today. Find us on Facebook, find us on YouTube, like our page. I appreciate all your time here today. Derek Phelps, uh, Top Talent Search Advisor, your friendly headhunter. Thank you.